Hey guys, it's Carla. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to paint these cotton bowls. Um, I had a request for this, so um, Mary, this one's for you. Uh, this is super simple to do and very quick. And um, I've got my outline drawn on. If you want the free outline, there's a link in the description below to my Facebook page. And I always post all of my outlines on there so you can just print it off. Um, and the reference photo will be in there too. Um, so this is, this is pretty much watercolor. I'm using a um, canvas panel, but this is an eight by 10 canvas panel but you can do this on watercolor paper or, um, or canvas. So whichever you have on hand. So I'm just using a, a round brush and watering my paint down. So I'm basically turning acrylic paint into water paint and I'm watering it down and just uh, very, very loosely uh, putting this on and keep your brush moving keep keep going fast so that you don't get too perfect with it um you probably get tired of me saying that but with with this style of painting you just don't want to be perfect so you don't want to get like right up against um the outline all always and just be very loose with it um these canvas panels if you if you want to use them, they're very inexpensive. They're a dollar each and they're very easy to come by. You can get them at Walmart or wherever. Um, or like I said, you could do, you could use watercolor paper and um, that would be even be less expensive. So, um, so right here under the stem, I want to put in some darker shade for shadow. And um, I used blue and brown because those two colors together complement each other. Uh, now again, I'm keeping this loose. You can tell I'm not staying within the outline and I'm not even filling in all of the outlines. So just keep your brush moving, keep your hand moving, go fast, don't think about it. Um, Now the background, as you can see, is very light. Now I do come back later, and I apologize that this is not in the video, but I decided after the video to come back and uh, make part of my background a little bit darker just so that my cotton shows up better. But um, it's just personal preference. So if you want to do that, then you can do it either now or you can come back later and do it. Now I'm just using acrylic paint, um, craft paint. So just use whatever you have on hand. Don't, this doesn't require special paint or special brushes or anything. These are just cheap brushes. So honestly, anybody can do this painting. Now right here I'm adding in some of this um, burnt sienna to kind of warm it up a little bit because I'm using some blues and I don't want it to be too cool so when you when you use cool colors it's a it's a good idea sometimes to add in some warm colors and vice versa so uh, if you'll notice this this blue on here looks good with that warm color on there already. These, these canvas panels can be framed. Uh, you can either put them in an eight by 10 frame or you can put them in a larger frame with a mat and it looks really nice. But they're also very rigid 
um, so they're not going to bend if you just lean them against something. So that's an option too. Or you can fasten a string to the back of it and hang them just, you know, without a frame. Now what I'm doing right here is putting in some color for, for dimension. And don't worry that it's too bold right now because I'm coming back with the white while that blue is still wet and it kind of blends all in together and softens. So this is just pure white with a dry brush. And the thicker you put this paint on, uh, you know, when it dries, it's gonna, it's gonna show the thickness, so it's gonna be textured. So that's really nice. So if you want to use even more paint than I did, even more white, then you could do that and give it more texture. So right now I'm just coming through and kind of softening some of the edges that I felt like were too bold. Guys, if you're liking my videos, please let me know. Please give them a thumbs up. And um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, this would be a great time to do that. And also, if you have any suggestions on things to paint, like this one was a suggestion. This was a request from somebody. So um, leave, leave requests in the comments and... I'll, I'll work on getting it on here. So this is just pure white with a dry brush um, just to add some highlights to the to the brown areas. And now I've scooped up some more white because again I want this to be textured. You can tell how thick I'm leaving it. It's th That makes it look even more like cotton. Now on the bottom side of the stem, I want it to be dark because it's in shadow. And then I'm coming back with a wet brush and softening the top edge of what I just put on. And then some other things that might need softened. If you catch them while they're still wet, then you can use just a wet brush and, and soften any edges. So there it is, guys. Um, like I said, I came back and darkened some things, but um, you might want to do it as you paint it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and God bless you and I hope you tune in next time.